Your Grace, over here. Imagine if they just killed Clive at the end of the demo and were like, just kidding, Final Fantasy 16 is fake. <laughs> we really got ya. I've played the demo two times in full and also two half times now. I still can't see anything besides we'll find you. Joshua, are you in pain? I love how he is just like worried about... He's like, Joshua, are you in pain? He's just worried about Joshua, even though he's like, he could get incinerated in a second. One thing I will say I don't understand is we vanquish the icon of fire, but then we fight him again. That doesn't make sense to me. Closing my eyes doesn't even help. It's hearing it, that's the worst part. I'm honest, I'm taking my thing up. I don't wanna hear this. To me, it's so interesting how everyone is interpreting this differently. Joshua! Stop it! Stop <laughs> I'm sorry. It! I, don't... <laughs> I just don't understand. We vanquished him. We vanquished you. Stop. Just stop. So either way, whether that was Clive or not, he thinks it wasn't him. He thinks someone else did it, right? So I think that he's going to spend the rest of the next 13 years trying to like, you know, building like an obs a, a revenge obsession, rightfully so, and wanting to hunt down the dominant that killed his brother. Oh, this is it. This is new. It's game time. I got a piece so bad. Okay, we're back. We're back here. I passed out. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. Mm. Beast juice. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Avis. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. Oh. Not very nice. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. When I watched Bias die earlier, I was like, why couldn't that other guy have died? Just because he looks kind of stupid, you know? With his stupid floppy hair. Now he's talked and I know his name. I'm more like, I kind of like him. Also, I didn't realize BS is the one that says fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, by the way, I didn't do the, I never did the iconic trial or whatever it's called. The other part of the demo. I think Shiva's dominant is Jill. And I think we're going to see each other and be like, oh my God, whoa. She's going to be like, you're alive. And he's going to be like, whoa. So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our Iron Blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Hang what, Bedra? Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. Oh, it's Jill had gray hair. Dominant. Are you certain? That's definitely the her. The Orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom. They teach that dominants are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. I love how all the different nations view dominants so differently. <laughs> We're gonna save Jill. <laughs> That's her. Please. What are you doing? Stop. What? Jada <laughs> must be Isla. <clears throat> what 
salvation now kin alad skali yast well at least they didn't kill her let this be the end she wants to die does she want to die avis care to kill some iron blood gladly She's attacking me! You Don't you know who I top. am? Ha! Oh, no, no, no! Ha! Look at my ha! face, bitch! Ha! Do you not. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Do you not remember me? Remember Torkoal? Where is Torkoal? Where is Torkoal? Where is Torkoal, bitch? Not this time. You had one job. I don't understand. Why do I have to fight her? Is this gonna be like one of those, like, oh, you got her health bar low? And now we're gonna have a cutscene situation. We're not gonna kill her. We're not gonna kill her. I just don't understand why she doesn't look at my face. Look at my face. Look at me. Bitch, look in my eyes. You know who I am. Do you see? You see my nose? Oh, okay. No more. Let's say. Oh, she sounds so pain. Leave me be. I'm sorry! I will not have their blood on my hands. What about our blood? Why are you okay with our blood on your hands? We're just trying to kill you. We're good people. We just want your head. We want your head in our hands. She's almost down. Wait, no, I don't... She's... Her health is very low! Does anyone else notice that her health is video game? Video game, our health looks very low! It looks like we're all, you know, almost to the, like, she dies portion. The, per the part where we kill her. Hello, video game. V video game. At last. Uh, defeated. Not vanquished. Not that vanquished fucking means anything. Either, based on the demo. And as she fought, she shed tears of ice, which shattered on the blood-stained earth below. Shiva was... Are they saying that Shiva was crying? Of course she was. Jill's a perfect little lady. I love her. It's fine. Don't love the Iron Kingdom people. Don't really love them at all. Is she dead? I don't think so. Well? What are you waiting for? Okay, so he doesn't recognize her. Oh! He does recognize her! No. No, that's... Not you. Not here. Oh, uh, I'll bloody do it then. Oh, I knew you were awful. You deserve that. Fuck you. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> ah, fuck. We've got company, Wyvern. So he is having some memory issues. What the hell are you doing? Lord Ohilda Vivra! Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! I'm sorry, Jill. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Wyvern? The Dominant. I know her. Know her? Look around you! Do you think any of these animals care? I need What's... you here! I'm fighting! What's that look like I'm doing? Stay down! <laughs> Stay down, bitch! I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. Just kill him. How about I take your head? 
I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. The Empire will have our heads if we return empty-handed. Oh, so if you won't take you hers, I'll have to take yours. Jeez! I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's Oop. find out. This guy, like, clearly doesn't give a shit about me. He has made that very clear. He made me go Vanguard, and then he was like, maybe I'll die fighting, but not until you do. Ah. Ah. <laughs> cool. That was cool. Have you forgotten who plucked you from the front lines? Who trained you? Who gave you a name when you had none? You speak as if we don't bear the same brand, Sergeant. I've Distracted. always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Oh. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. Then you will die, as you should have 13 years ago. I just want to read the dialogue. I don't want to fight. You're nothing. No one. And I will not fall by your hand. Can you see your health bar? By a traitor's blade. Bested. Vanquished. Defeated. Bested. There's a lot of verbs in this game. <laughs> Commander Murdoch was such a better leader and mentor. Uh oh. We gotta run. No, okay. Not just sit there. <sighs> Would be a good time to have like a sudden explosive fart. <gasps> Lightning. Who did I said was lightning? Remove and that's a coddle. That's so cool. Probably some other ones also, I can't remember. Who is it? <laughs> this way. Uh, <laughs> that is that is Sid. First of all, I was gonna say, was that Torgo or was that another dog? I thought I thought the dog casted the lightning. <laughs> And in my head, I was like, I didn't even consider that there might be human, non-human dominance. <laughs> that makes sense, though, I guess. That's Sid? I can't. I am so used to Sid not being hot. I don't know that my brain can handle this. I want this man to read me bedtime stories. <laughs> wow. That was a very, not only explosive fart, but shocking. <laughs> Sorry. The orders of the armies that enslaved them. Oh, we were both enslaved by different nations. We have so much in common. Bloody winged. Oh my god. <laughs> well, come on then. Is that Torgo or do you just also have a dog? Is that Torgo? Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! <laughs> Torgo? The Torgo? I feel like it was a, if it was Torgo, Clive would be like, Torgo, my good boy. Benny. Hugo, dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. 
See, she lights it. You put the Ice Queen on her back. No doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this price. My lady, the Thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. <laughs> Gather the men. I love we have fucking work to snakes. Do. Jill. Is it really you? Is it Torkel? And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Oh my god, his voice is so deep. Torgal. Hi. Torgal? His name is Torgal. His name is Torgal? You two are acquainted. Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more of the chocobo type. I see I just... I just... The way you call him a fine hound, it feels like such a medieval way to say good boy. <laughs> I like. Also, I already love Sid. The fact that he was taking care of Torkoal, this very fine hound, makes him number one, top tier character. Good job. Perfect. You did great. Wow. Despite their long years apart, the two knew each other as if not a single day had passed since their separation. Oh. <sighs> I love him. His government name is Sidolphus. Sidolphus Telamon. I wonder whose side he's on. I mean, clearly my side and Torgo's side. Probably his own side. He seems like he's a his own side kind of fella. Clive Rosfield. <laughs> Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived. But I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. <laughs> now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up! No! Oh. Don't touch her. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. <laughs> I'm so excited. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, 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 Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. Nan? <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. I wonder if he would trust <sighs> this guy if... Trust it if Torgal didn't come with him. If it would have been different. <sighs> the withered remnants of a once verdant green lush valley long consumed by the blight. One would have to be either extremely foolish or extremely desperate, or an extremely desperate fool to make this wasteland their home. I think the translation, localization, translation, very good. Oracle. Not much further now. 
But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight suck this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Clive discovers dirt for the first time in his life. Home sweet home. I want to meet Nan. These are fallen ruins. Well, Very cool. we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nouth. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're Tell back. me more Moogle. Ah, it's Arya. Arya. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Goots! <laughs> but, but Nan will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All Karen. of it. Goots! She's the best thing <laughs> side of the belt. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. I want an apple. Wow, cool. <gasps> the fat chocobo. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Where's the Moogle? Oh, this is cool. <laughs> still hungry, are you? I still jump the same. Oh. Wait, where's Torgal? Oh, there's Torgal. Hello. Are you Nan? Torgo has a little bracelet on. He is so handsome. I love him so much. That's still my doggy. He's a good boy. Huh? Yeah. Oh. He's huh? so surly he doesn't even want to talk to me. Yeah. The washroom floor's all mended then. It'll hold. For now. What happened in the washroom? Did someone take a particularly powerful dump? Was it the Moogle? I love this chicken. <gasps> it's camouflaging. Hello? Hello? <laughs> it doesn't have little hooves for feet. Look at him, he's so round. He is cute. I love him. Little taint shot. This cute little taint. Little moogle taint. What a perfect place. When lightning struck his yoke, did break. Oh my god, they're actually his singing. Wife his own again. With thunder's roll, he knew his fate and would fight it to the end. What do you think? I woke this morn inspired. It's beautiful! Is it about Sid awakening to... He's not a bear though, he didn't have a... He didn't have a tattoo. A yoke is like the thing that keeps oxen or whatever attached to the plow. So it like... It's like chains, I guess, like metaphorically. It sounds like whenever Sid awoke to his... Icon, that he was freed? But that he would fight against the fate of being an icon? Whatever that meant. I just want to know so much. I want to know some more. More much. Much and more. More lore, please. Give it to me. Okay, where are the fat chocobo? Hello. Can you take my order, please? What is this? This looks like a jukebox. 
Wait, I can't interact with this? This is totally a jukebox. Let me play other Final Fantasy music. We're gonna go see Sid. My mans. Oh no! Sid's hideaway. A refuge in the blighted lands of Central Storm, from which Sid operates his secretive community of freed bearers. While survival in the Deadlands is widely considered impossible, a combination of near instructable, fallen, indestructible. Wait, how did the apples grow here? They said nothing grows here. Anyway, sorry to interrupt you, I guess, Sid. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. The owl? All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? Honestly, what a coincidence. Why would... I mean, like, that... Three, three icon kids living in one city, one town. That's wild. Oh, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help from branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Why wouldn't he? Why are you hesitating? What other choices do you have, bitch? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. Are you just gonna leave? But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Okay, that makes sense. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Is he certain? What say what? we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. I love You'll how find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. I love how Sid, I'm trying to talk here. I love how Clive is not at all motivated by what happened to him. He just wants to avenge Joshua. He doesn't care that 13 years, he was enslaved for 13 years because of his mother, 
betraying them and all that shit. It's downstairs. <laughs> Try not to get lost. I just wanted to talk to you. I knew where to go. Jeez. I want to meet Nan. He, he, he's in... Oh no. Goats, was it? Perhaps Goats. you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. That is old Nan. Oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. Blackthorn? There's also a Blackthorn in Stormlight Archive. Another Stormlight Archive connection. Does it look like this room here for another bloody crate? No, Lady Karen. I'm sorry, oh, Lady Karen. Old Nan is Lady is Karen. Torgal, hello. Look at his feet. Look at his little beans. Fancy a mug of Kenneth Coldest when we're done. Does Titan shit boulders? <laughs> Those Titan shit boulders. God, that sounds painful. I hope Titan has like some preparation H or something. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. The way he said dot 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 equipment, 100% sounded like he was referring to his penis. <gasps> Goots! One of Sid's trusted allies, a gentle giant who has a warm word for everyone. I love Goots. He's just my favorite character so far. No, my second favorite because of Torgal. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. What? <laughs> Moogle's fart. This is the most important piece of lore I've ever learned. Oh, Goot is still up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Goodbye, Goots. <laughs> Does Goots have nipples? Goots has a cloaca. I don't think you get nipples if you have a cloaca. It would be- you would be too powerful. <gasps> the bearer from the demo! Is that not him? Isn't that him? From Rosaria? Who spilled the apples? And he was like, he bowed to me because I was so nice. I was such a good, nice boy. Quick as you like. All right. We make him comfortable while the bed's made up. Well, you're just going to stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. Yeah, you go and see if Otto needs out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> He's out? Wait, me? <sighs> if you've tasted Kenneth's brown, does that not sound like a euphemism for eating his poop? Call it a marriage of convenience? Are you married? Are they gay? Is this the gay couple that everyone mentioned? Blackthorn and Sid are gay. 100% I refuse to believe. Otherwise, I refuse that the word marriage could be used in any other context. Doesn't hurt that the forge here is the hottest this side of hell. Personally, I think Sid is the hottest this side of hell. Keeper of the store. Seeing as you're new, let me share a word of warning. Keep your hands out of the stores or I'll cut them off and crate them with the others. <laughs> oh, I'm only teasing. We feed the hands to the dogs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will not be crossing her! Holy shit. I love that she's finding joy and pleasure in this uh, restricted and, and um, miserable life that they have in here. Is it a different person? It would be interesting for Clive to encounter a bear that he previous that like was previously, you know, technically his slave and to now be like on the same level as him and to have that sort of recognition. Let's go see the Moogle. Look at him! Wow! You another one of Sid's strays? What? We all are. 
For his cats. Wiggins, biggins, and everything in between. We're a damn sight better off here than out there in the world. Oh my god, there's two chickens. The chickens, they just hang out. They're free. This is a place of freedom. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions once she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. <laughs> <sighs> He's going to be all right. But I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. Is she a doctor? My work's just begun. Or a healer. Like, magically. She do science or magic? New hideaway features. A thousand tomes? An ever-growing compendium of all things Valestia? <gasps> the jukebox! The orchestrion! A personal jukebox for songs <gasps> collected throughout the game. They're both in the fat chocobo. Okay. Who are these people? They have all introduced themselves. What do you mean, who are they? Do you think we should go and help? It sounds like Otto has everything under control. As always. <gasps> She's from Walud. This is this is a bear from Walud. I changed the music. Hello, wizened man. Would you like to share your wisery with me? Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? Perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates the Second Hyperboreus. <laughs> That's, uh... <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes. On account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company? I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas... My days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. Yes. I am excited. I'm just excited. There's. I'm just so excited for a video game. Oh my god! Little pixels, even the dialogue box. Rhyming. The act of a dominant transforming their living flesh into that of their icon. Oh, that's why they told Jill to prime. History records eight icons in total, each with a unique elemental affinity. Not that unique. I wonder if eight includes Ifrit or if this is the first Ifrit ever. It is commonly held that two icons of the same element cannot coexist, but as none has ever witnessed, all of these rare creatures together, the conjecture is yet to be proved. So it just kind of comes from the fact that no one's ever seen it and they just assumed that it was impossible. I was wondering where that came from also. I would suspect there are eight and a three. Water. This gotta be Leviathan, right? I'll guess Garuda is wind since I don't know any other ones. I would guess Remu is thunder. What? Maybe that's like holy. Okay, I'll put down either Seraph. I think that's like a holy one. Maybe Alexander might be holy. I'm gonna put question mark. Dark though. Dark? I didn't even know that was an element. Dark? Like gravity? Yeah, I have no idea. I have no guesses for that. We'll just leave that one open. But Barnabas is not the only one with whom she shares a special bond. Who is Barnabas? Barnabasy? Oh, the aloof and unshakable Barnabas Tharmer. They really need to invent electricity, I think. That would go a long way for them. Clive Rosfield. Whoa! Holy shit, there's multiple pages. As the force of crusaders closed around him, his freedom seemed as if it would be short-lived. Oh yeah, he was like, just sitting there. He was like, ready to die, I guess. Until the timely intervention of Sid, a man who shared Clive's desire to see the Dominant freed from their clutches. Together they escaped to Sid's secret hideaway. I really don't like- I know that the, like, enemy is the Empire, but I really don't like the Iron Kingdom. Just because of how they treated Jill. That wasn't even their Dominant. 
She was from the Northern Territories. They took her, then treated her like an abomination, and forced her to do their bidding. That's so rude. TBH. Also, she's a fucking princess, okay? It was ever her purpose in life to preserve her phoenix-bearing bloodline, for which reason she betrayed her husband that she might enter in league with a force she judged the mightier, the Holy Empire of Sunbrek. How can you make a better phoenix with not your cousin, unless he's your brother? Unless the Emperor is your brother, your secret brother, how could you possibly make a stronger phoenix? Inbreeding is the answer, Annabella. Don't you know? You have to fuck your family. It's the only way. Given their stated desire to control all the mothers, the Iron Blood's attitude to other nations is one of indelible antagonism. They are so greedy. Why do they want to have all the mother crystals? You don't need them. What is wrong with you? Joshua! After the fall of Fink's Gate, the shock of seeing his father slain before his disbelieving eyes. He lost control of his icon. That used to be like all I knew and it was like all I could think about. Now there's like this whole world opened up to me and it feels, it already feels like so long ago. He's, oh, she's a physicer, resident physicer. Sid's hideaway. Arya is an expert in all manners of medicines and medical interventions. Okay, so like science. Oh, because they can't use magic. Because they're in the Deadlands. Oh. Torgold not only grew into a fine hound, but met with Sid, who trained him to work as a hunting dog. After meeting with Clive again, Torgo gladly returns to the service of his former master. Torgo! He is a fine hound. Ambrosia! Clive's personal steed during the attack on Phoenix Gate, she raced to Clive's rescue, saving him from a certain death at the cost of an eye, a price she gladly paid. She only lost her eye. Okay, that's good. When are we going to see her again, please? May we please see her again, please, and thank you. This is entered as the dominant of fire? The very icon that slew the heir to the ducal throne. Oh, Clive believes this man to be the dominant who murdered his brother and has sworn to take his revenge. I love this lore. I love this. And I love that you can also come back and like read things later also. And that there will be new stuff. I love that they mark stuff as new. And look at Harpocrates' little pixel sprite. Kenneth! Kenneth Brown! Ah, a poop new soup. face. And dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. Gimme poop soup! The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might Oops, I yeah. persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strongbox and my enduring gratitude. I think that strongbox is a euphemism for butthole. Uh, a side quest. This is my first side quest. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Poopsu! Clive. Clive says Delighted Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. Why do I just love every NPC? Or, not necessarily love, but just like, I don't know, they all feel like people, you know? Oh, Mew. How long has it been? It's cool. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. They just all have such personality. Yeah. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do oh, not God. think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. Oh, was so nice. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. You left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid, 
took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. My eyes are watering up, Marsu. Old, nice old people rude. make me cry too. Especially people being nice to them also. I'd been cast out and left for dead when Sid found me. There's not a day goes by I don't count the <laughs> blessings. Ugh. Wow, I love this game. It doesn't help that I'm playing this music, that I put this music on the jukebox. Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Oh my god! Of course. Thank you. Right. That's the last one. I'd better let Kenneth know. It just feels so real. And then Clive is like, eat it before it gets cold. He felt like such a mom. And he just wants to be useful. This random fucking NPC. I love this game so much. Already. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? I really like this storyline of down with slavery, okay? It's good. The importance of necessity. So yeah, it's just like a bowl of food. They didn't even get fed properly. And just freedom. Just being able to do what you want. Whenever. I think that a lot of us know and learn about slavery, at least in the US, since it was such a thing. But we don't, or I don't, actually watch a lot of media with slaves in it. And so I'm often not putting myself in their shoes. But God, it sucks. Though there is still like slavery and servitude all, or forced, forced servitude all over the world. I'm excited. I want to destroy the system of slavery in this game. I think that will be very good. I want Joshua to be resurrected. I want Torgal to live forever. And I want to see Ambrosia again. Ah, uh, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? Why am I excited to do a fetch quest right now? <laughs> a hidden refuge built on fallen ruins in the blighted lands of Central Storm. It is from here that Sid operates his secretive society of freed bears. So accustom are most so-called branded to ill treatment at their master's hands, that their first experience of something approaching freedom within the hideaway's walls, be it even something as small as a hot meal or a soft bed, can come as a considerable shock. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Oh, I thought I was gonna have to Thank leave you. and cut down trees. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Can somebody just be fucking mean to me? It's probably gonna be Karen. I think Karen's gonna be mean to me. I can't handle all this kindness. Everyone's just so respectful and kind. Yeah. You better get this too. It warms my heart. Jeffrey, was it? I learned his name. I'm making an effort to remember his name. Jesus fucking Christ. Clive is incredible. Also, I love how Clive is like, I can't stay here. I have other stuff to do. But at the same time, he's like, oh, oh, you need help with all these, uh, like, what's the word? Menial? Menial tasks? Sure, I'll help you. <laughs> will this be enough? This will do nicely. Thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. 
There's no need to. That's nah, not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Okay. I would like to meet someone that has armpit hair. Another one of my goals. Yeah, flying. Especially like, so 13 years. 13 whole ass years as a bearer and in the army. And also uh, some amount of time with Tiamat, who was kind of an asshole to Clive in particular. I feel like he's probably not used to people being kind to him. And he also has the experience of being like someone who benefits from the bearer's work, even though they were like, you know, kinder than most in the duchy but still no matter how kind you are to a slave you still have taken their freedom away i don't know i feel like it's so interesting to think about like the reconciliation of that in clive's brain and how things change and he learns and sees different things kind of a good thing honestly that that the ifrit killed joshua and that clive can expand his horizons Honestly, kind of a positive <laughs> that Joshua died. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. <laughs> Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. I love her, especially because she said she took care of Sid and fed and filled his belly and gave him rubs under his chin. Why, you've barely a guilty name. You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. <laughs> all right. All right, I can make an exception. <laughs> but just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me. Thank your dog. Kind of seemed <laughs> everyone you all done hello hmm leaving already are you it's you i'll miss the most lady karen it always is don't stop you going does it this should be fun right will torgo get a little pixel in our party, if he comes. Make for the Great Wood. We're going to the Great Wood. Oh, it's just me in the party right now. Uh, I haven't saved. <laughs> Ever. I think we're gonna end here because I'm getting hungry. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. This game feels so video game now. Anyone who's playing, I wish you enjoyment and luck in your adventures. 